Hi everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. We are moving forward with the types of sprinkler systems in our NFPA 13 training series. Just to remind our new viewers, this course is specifically designed to help you feel confident and get expertise in design and installation of automatic sprinkler systems. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below and click the notification icon to get the updates. In our last class, we learned about the detailed concept of dry pipe sprinkler system along with an animation video. In today's class, we shall discuss the third type of automatic sprinkler system that is pre-action sprinkler system which is similar to dry system but the difference lies in what event triggers the release of water in the system. We will go through this type of system in next slides. At the end of our class, we shall discuss the types of pre-action systems. Let's begin our class with the introduction to pre-action systems. Of all the sprinkler systems, perhaps this is the most complicated type. They utilize closed sprinklers connected to the piping network which contains air above the pre-action valve as you can see from the figure on your screen. The system piping is pneumatically pressurized for supervisory purposes only. These are similar to dry type however these systems are integrated with supplemental detection. Detection system must be activated before water is released into the piping. The detection system is commonly electric or pneumatic or a combination of both. Reaction systems are also common choice where freezing is a possibility. Reaction system is used where there are concerns over water damaging the critical equipments such as in computer rooms, telecommunications, museums, libraries, coolers and freezers to name a few. These systems provide highest degree of protection against unintended activation. Before we try to understand the operation of the pre-action systems, these systems are typically utilized where it is desirable to delay the introduction of water into the system piping until appropriate signals are received from the detection system and or the supervised piping. As you can see on your screen, water is filled till the pre-action deluge valve. A supplemental detection system is installed in the same area as the sprinklers. All sprinklers are closed and normally there is no water in the piping. When fire occurs, a supplemental detection system senses the fire and automatically open the pre-action valve. When the pre-action valve opens, water flows into the piping system. Water discharge occurs from each individual sprinkler as they fuse in response to heat. Now let us try to understand uh, the types of pre-action systems. NFPA 13 defines three basic types of pre-action systems. Single interlock type, non-interlock type and double interlock type of pre-action systems. Single interlock pre-action systems admits water to sprinkler piping upon operation of detection devices only. These systems may have an electric or pneumatic detection system. This type of system is used where it is desirable to have water available at the sprinkler when the sprinkler activates. Single interlock pre-action systems are commonly used where the sprinkler system piping or sprinklers may be subject to damage. The most common applications are system applications where it is important to control accidental water discharge due to damaged sprinkler piping. Non-interlock pre-action systems admits water to sprinkler piping upon either operation of detection devices or automatic sprinklers. These systems are recommended for very large dry systems which exceed the capacity normally permitted on a dry valve. Double interlock pre-action system admits water to sprinkler piping upon operation of both the detection devices and automatic sprinklers. This system is commonly used in freezers where flooding of the pipe can have serious consequences and where it is important to control accidental water discharge due to damaged sprinkler piping. For non and single interlock systems, maximum sprinklers per valve shall be 1000 
for double interlocked systems maximum capacity as per nfpa 13 shall be 500 gallons which with 60 seconds discharge requirements i hope you understand the concept of pre-action system in next class we will discuss in more detail regarding the types of pre-action systems thank you thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to learn more on fire protection systems make sure to hit the subscription button below and click on the notification to get the updates thank you thank you so much bye